Well, video catches tigers in action, marking the back wall of a home in City Heights. As our tennis reporter Michael Chen tells us, the location of the recent tagings are sparking frustration in a neighborhood. Just off Euclid Avenue, a church, an elementary school, and a site. It's sad. Leanne Montano has seen before. It's sad that they're destroying somebody else's property. Surveillance video shows what unfolded just down the street. Just before 2 a.m., a light flashes, but these guys are undeterred. With another person and a person on a bike nearby, someone in a cap and hoodie casually begins spray painting the back of the home. For more than 40 seconds, he tags the wall before he and his cohorts leave. It appears when he was done with this wall, he was just getting started. We found similar tags on fences and garage after garage. A block away at Euclid Elementary, more graffiti. Montano's place was spared, but... These are our four garages facing the alley. And as you can see, there's been some graffiti that we've had to wash off or spray over. She says tagging, including the school... Taggers lead to other activity that isn't safe. ...is a weekly occurrence. My main concern as a parent and as a resident is the children's safety. But neighbors like Montano are fighting back, getting any tagging painted over immediately using the city's Get It Done app. Some like Montano installing cameras in hopes of catching taggers in an act that harms their neighborhood's image. It allows other people to treat our neighborhood like crap. If we don't take pride in our neighborhood, who else is going to? Michael Chen, 10 years. Well, the city of San Diego offers rewards up to $500 for the arrest and conviction of graffiti vandals. If you would like more information, there is a link on 10news.com. Just click on the red television button.